here I'm going to show you how acid forms in the body and how it causes gout and lastly I will show you how to reverse the process and cure your gout. So first of all I want to show that um, our body is naturally when we are born, when we are born it is slightly alkaline. So how I use to represent slightly alkalinity is by using natural mineral water which is slightly alkaline. This is natural mineral water. Then I put, then I put some pH tester. This is a pH drop. The result as shown here, when it's neutral, it's green color. If it's alkaline, it's blue. Highest alkaline is purple. So our body, when it's born, is slightly alkaline, which is at the pH of seven point three six four. This is slightly alkaline. So. Now I want to show, as we grow, because of the modern lifestyle, it becomes, slowly becomes acidic. Acid accumulates the body. So I just want to show a few ways how acid goes in the body and causes acidosis. So this is three glasses. So I put in this water here. So one of it is a popular food additive. All those chemicals they put in your food. This is my example. Put this. Put additive. And then, let's see this. You can see. It, 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 it caused your pH to drop. Same for this one. This is an artificial sweetener. This is artificial sweetener. Put a few drops here. Makes the alkalinity drops to neutral. Remember, our body must be slightly alkaline. So, and this is the most popular soft drink. All soft drink or carbonated drinks is highly acidic. All right. Becomes acidic. So you can see here. So now I put it all back. to your body, your body becomes acidic and as this acid accumulates more and more, it has no place to go, what they do is it becomes crystallized. When they crystallize inside your joint, this is when gout attack. So you know your body becomes acidic. The question is how are you going to neutralize that? So there are a few popular ways as you can find on the internet on solving gout problem. So I'm going to show a few tips to them what to do. This is six glasses. Six glasses. So I'm gonna put the acidic. This represent your body, the acid in your body, into these six glasses. Let's see one by one how it helps. So first of all, let's try painkiller. Put a drop of painkiller and see if it works. Nope, it doesn't neutralize the acid. And how about apple cider or apple juice? Hundred percent. Some some natural remedies say that it works. Let's see where it works. makes it more acidic. Right, what's next? This is the popular one. Baking soda. Baking soda, let's see. Put baking soda in one spoon. Two spoon. Well, you can see it turns back to green a little bit. It helps to neutralize the acid. Alright, what next? Drinking more water. So let's see distilled water. Pure water. Does it help? No. And how about 
the popular expensive water from the mountain. It doesn't have to. Then about this water from the very advanced technology which is called ionization. So this water is very high in alkalinity. It can neutralize an acid. As you can see, just a little bit, it helps. So this one single out, this one single out, apple cedar single out, painkiller single out, and this is distilled water single out, expensive mineral water or mountain water single out. Now I left these two. Baking soda works, but you have to take in a very under a consultation of a doctor because too much of baking soda it can cause health complication because it's some, some chemicals. So the good thing of baking soda is it neutralizes acid but it neutralizes the alkalinity as well. So when I put this strong alkaline water inside this baking soda, see it can never turn alkaline. So this one out. So only left one solution for your gut problem. It is drinkable. It is drinkable. You have to find this out. Thank you.